hello you guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is tata cooks and on today's video we are making rice nuke i promise you're gonna love this recipe so get on with it and i promise you're gonna thank me later <laughs> To make this delicious rice snook, we're going to need whole snook, some chopped garlic, chopped coriander, butter, some black pepper, some salt, apricot jam, spice for fish and also some mixed herbs and a bit of chutney. I will list all the ingredients in the description box. So to get started with the recipe, we're going to first start by making our glaze. So in low heat, we're going to melt our butter. While you're watching, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The link is on the description. We're going to melt our butter. And once it has melted, we're going to add our garlic. I am now adding my garlic and then using a wooden spoon to just mix everything. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and also comment down below on what you think about the recipe. And also if there's something that you would like for me to try, please do let me know. <laughs> Once the garlic has fried, just for a bit, you're going to, maybe after 2 minutes of frying the garlic, you, we're going to add our jam. As you can see, I've added like 2 heaped spoons spoons of jam next i'll be adding my chutney about one and a half spoons of chutney and then i'm going to mix everything together using my wooden spoon don't forget that our stove is still on medium heat we don't want the clays to burn really so i'm going to stir everything together until it is ready after about two minutes as you can see it's boiling right now after about two minutes i'm going to add about a spoon of my mixed herbs and also some spice for fish all the ingredients will be on the description box as well as the measurements so don't worry you can check the description box and everything is there this is how the glaze is now looking I'm sure you can tell that it looks really nice and also it smells really amazing especially after adding the coriander as you can see I've chopped it it's about um, like a handful of coriander which I've just chopped it adds that great kick <laughs> I don't know if I should say a kick but yeah that thing <laughs> So I'm going to cook for like two more minutes and then I'll be done with this. Basically, it's ready. <laughs> going back to this nook, I'm going to, you know, put some salt on it and also some black pepper. Always like guys, please take this tip from me. Always like when you're cooking, you should be generous with your black pepper. You can never have enough of it really <laughs> so now we're done like putting some salt and black pepper on the snook so we're going to proceed to brush over the glaze on top of the fish as you can see so i'm using my kitchen brush to do all of that so this is what i'm gonna do right now and also please note that because it was raining on this particular day when I made my snook, I couldn't make some fire outside for the braai, you know. So what I did is that I used a pan, like I used my oven to make the snook. So the pan had some foil on it and also I sprayed some um, non-stick spray so that the snook doesn't stick on the foil so that's what i did and then placed my fish on there and then i'm gonna cook it for about 20 minutes in the oven because fish is like fast to cook so that is what i did and the stove was on like the oven i mean <laughs> was on like 150 degrees so for those of you who can make fire like 
the braai outside I, I feel like you can do that for yourself but as for me on the day on the particular day I couldn't do that that is why I used my oven to make it so let's say you were using um your braai stand outside what you would do is that you would um like braai everything in an open fire i've attached a picture which you will see like how you, you can do it as you can see that's how it looks so that's how you may braai your snook but as for me i had to use my oven on the day for 20 minutes if you manage to do use your braai stand please let me know down on on the comment section and tell me how it goes but i promise it's gonna go great if you try it <laughs> but as for me i used the oven and this is how it came out just look at how my snook is looking it only like took 21 minutes i think for it to be okay so yeah i loved it this way if you want to do it inside the house it is definitely more than okay and now lastly i'm going to drizzle my fresh freshly squeezed lemon all over my snook it just gives that fresh and lovely taste and then ready to eat it's ready to eat <laughs> you may enjoy your snook with some garlic rolls and some salad i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and and like found it you know educational if i may say thank you so much i really appreciate it. please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i post regularly <laughs> until the next video bye